Ed, we're here in Cardiff. You're homeless. Tell me about it. It's, it, it's hard. It's hard work. It's hard work. Begging's illegal. Um, even though I do beg, I have, don't have much choice in it because I have to make money. Um, I've been out nearly seven years. My ex-partner walked out the door with, with both my kids and my best friend and a lot of money. And there's no help. There is no help for single men. If I was a single woman, I'd, I'd be all right. But being a single man, it's hard. It's a lot harder. Now, you're saying that it's illegal to panhandle here, begging. Yes. What happens, what do they do? You either move you on or you get arrested. Or you get, or you get, um, what they call a section 38, I think it is, which means that you get told that if you come back into town within 24 hours, you get arrested. And then when you're arrested, you got to pay fines or yep. you go to... Uh, eighty pound, I think it's an 80 pound fine, I think it is. And you don't have any income? No. So they fine you for begging? Yep. And then you got to beg to pay the fine? Yep. That's ridiculous. Totally yep. ridiculous. So no, I think if I remember correctly, the law goes back as far as 1824, I think. Really? Yep. And it's never been changed. It's never the, been changed. In the States, criminalization is the same. So how do you survive out here? <laughs> Barely. Barely. As I said, I haven't eaten in two days. So, you know, it's not good at the moment. It's just not good. I, I came down from Bristol because I, I was told that the money down here was better, but it doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem that way at all. No, um, I'm struggling bad. Now, where did you sleep last night? Uh, in a doorway somewhere. And nobody's helping you? No. No. What would you want people to know about sleeping rough that they don't? No, know? Trying to feed yourself every day is is a mission. Never mind, never mind. You know, trying trying to afford just living, just living from day to day, and it it, it does get to the stage where you, where you think, well, what's the point? Is there any worth of life? You know what I mean? You know, I had a friend of mine about about a year ago that ended up committing suicide because of it. He he um he literally threw himself off the cliff and suspension bridge. Him and his dog. Oh you know God. what I mean? And you know, um, people and people automatically assume that it's my fault. And people automatically assume that it's either because of drugs or alcohol. And it's not always the case. Yeah. It's not always the case. If I remember correctly. The last count in this country, there was 109,000 rough sleepers. And one in three of those were ex-forces. Wow. So the amount of people that walk around and, and enjoy their freedom, but yet they don't, you know, they, they say that they're a patriotic country. Where's the patriotism in that? Yeah. Where's the patriotism in that? If they were so patriotic, then they wouldn't have a problem giving me bits of money. They wouldn't have a problem helping me. But they don't. They don't care. Nobody cares. They walk around with their little headphones in and they consume themselves in their own little bubble and that's what they care about is themselves. And everyone's so suspicious of everybody these days. And it just makes it so much harder. So, so much harder. And you know, yet again, I've still got to try and make money tonight. And it, you know, you, you look, it, it's dying. There's less and less people around. You know what I mean? Which means I'll probably be up again all night, which means I'll probably be asleep all again, all, 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 all tomorrow again. Which means that it's it's just that it's just that vicious circle. Yeah. And and sleeping is rare. Yeah. Yeah, very rare. Because <laughs> you always have to sleep with one eye open. Do you know what I mean? You know, one of my colleagues over in Bournemouth was kicked to death by two 16-year-olds and a 15-year-old because of a pouch of tobacco. Oh my gosh. They literally killed him. Oh my literally. Because he wouldn't hand his pouch of tobacco over during the day. They went back that night and they killed him. It's dangerous out here. It's getting worse. Yeah. It's getting worse. Same in the States. And there's more and more and more and more people coming out on the street. And because there's so many more, you've got so many more people putting their hand into that same pot, which means that there's not enough to go around. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just getting worse. Yeah. And I, I, I can't see a way out of it. I really can't. I really just don't know. I don't, I, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I've got no idea how I'm going to get out of this. You can't no idea give up. at all. I think it's a bit late for that. I think I already have, to be honest. You know, it's getting used to it, like it's becoming a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's it's hell. It's like living in hell. It really is like living in hell. And you know, you know, going to bed hungry is no fun. Yeah. It's no fun going to bed hungry. <laughs> You're putting on the socks. Yep. <laughs>
I've got no socks, so it's, it's, a, it's a godsend. Oh, you didn't have any socks? No. Oh no. my gosh. No. No. And you know, people people think that you know people think that ten pounds is a lot of money. It's not a lot of money, really. Ten, twenty pounds is not a lot of money. You know, people think that fifty pounds is a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. When someone goes to work every day, that you know, they're looking at fifty to sixty pounds a day. That's what they go to work for. You know what I mean? And people think that that's a lot of money. And then people get suspicious of what I'm going to spend that money on. Well, I need to live. But it's just, it's, it's, it's nuts. It, it's absolutely nuts. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Decent money, decent food, and somewhere, and somewhere decent to live. Well, thank you very much for talking to me.